What's up, y'all? It's Taylor Rian, and you're watching to come up with G Nice TV. Never need the fame, we did it. Taking both. Bitches throw shade, we send it. I do not play with. I was born in Minneapolis, but I was raised back and forth between here and Detroit. Bitches take away every day, payday. Bitches all get. Um, I think it's loud. I think it's in your face. And I ain't taking no more losses. I need a boss ass nigga that be spending that cash and like a bitch on the pole. I be checking that ass. Cause that shit smoke and that's all fans. Yeah. Soft fans hold him yeah. down in it like a dolphin. Yeah. All men said he finna come. Get up off him. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga couldn't take it. Uh -huh. Then fuck it. His loss nah. man, I'm off him. Trying to get paid like, like Dolph Nim. And if you niggas wanna see me, better log. Also nostalgic, but still new. Like, I don't think that it's anybody out that sound like me. Boy, like I'm turned, believe that. Yeah. He know I'm one and one. First of all, thank you for the compliment because I worked really hard on that presentation and the package. I think it's very important. First impression is everything. Your first impression is your only impression, and that's what people remember you by the first time they ever saw you. So um, I think, especially for like newer artists, you need to put everything you got um, into everything that you put out and and present yourself as if you are a major artist on a major label. Play my role like an actress. So I've always been into the arts, like from like eight, like the age of eight, I've been into the arts forever. It's just something that came natural. Family stuff, me and my siblings. Well, my sister, she raps too. Um, Kennedy Nicole, shout out to her. But yeah, it's always something that came natural to me. Dancing, not singing, I can't sing, but just performing, period. And uh, I knew that it was something that I always wanted to do. Like I used to want to be Tina Turner when I was little. And I feel like I'm the rap Tina Turner. And I feel like like everything that I've done art wise it has played a major role in how I present myself as an artist now performance wise for sure um, I think it's a lot of things that I'm still learning that I did not know uh, that I'm finding out and that I'm um, I'm applying like I'm applying all of the knowledge that I'm receiving from every experience that I have but I think as far as like performance and uh, how I show up on stage body language how I interact with people it was just all from doing like recitals and performances and you know being in dance companies or in plays and stuff like that so yeah. yeah these motherfucking bands hold on try me like mama lisa is my twin flame she's my bandmate i'm in a band called 222 um it's an alternative r&b band and we go together like peanut butter and jelly she's like the best thing that's ever happened to me she is really like the person that really really motivated me to do music like the first time we met she was like we should start a band and i'm like girl <laughs> And uh, she just, I guess she just had a feeling that I could, you know, show out on the mic though. And she's a beautiful singer. Yeah, we got some shit coming. Um, Taylor Brienne is like the everyday girl. She's chill, she's quiet, she's out the way. She's the vibe. But Tayway is like, I'm in your face with it. I'm loud, like, I'm what's up? I'm trying to party, I wanna have a good time. Like, jumping on the tables, rapping, like, I'm with whatever. That's what, that's Tayway. Taylor Brienne is like everyday cool. Complex, but they're both me. I ain't gonna lie, you was talking your shit in a few songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rap me is Taylor Rian for sure. Play my role like an actress. I took cash. Um, I just really, really wanted to like put something out that show how serious I was about music. Um, I have like a lot of like artistic hobbies, and I've had major support in doing all of those, and I was able to start like careers out of them too. But music is just something that fulfills my soul like way, way different than anything else that I've ever done. And I wanted to put together a project or a body of work where people see me like fresh, vulnerable with music. Like you put something out and people don't like it, they gonna be like, nah, that shit we like. You could have kept that. So like, I just was, I was just so into the idea of putting out something good and I really, really wanted people to enjoy it and to like identify with me in a different way. Because you don't just give a, 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 a regular show. You dance and you do the whole nine. So talk about that. I, this is how I feel. Like if I pay my money for something, I want my, I want to get my money's worth. My shows are paid shows people have to pay to come and see me perform. So I feel as though if I go through all of these rehearsals and I'm, you know, I'm in the studio and I'm paying all of this, I need, the production needs to be amazing in person as well. And I feel like that's where you connect with your, your audience or your fan base the most is in 
person and on stage with your with your body language when you putting the mic out there and they singing your words back to you like that's the best part for me so performing like being in the studio I love that I love everything about doing music but the performing part is my favorite part so that's why I go so hard for it it does I see the world different through a photography lens versus if I was in front of it the moment I step behind the lens I I started to just come up with all these crazy concepts in my head and I wanted to like put them forth whether it be like um, as a photo shoot a short film whatever it started like during the pandemic like I was so bored and I didn't have nothing to do and I'm like I'm gonna buy a camera and I just started taking pictures and I like I've always been interested in doing it but I never like took it serious and I had the, like that downtime um, and it turned into a career and it turned into something great so I made a little bit of cheese off of it I'm happy I did it and it's helping me further my music career so I would say for me and in my experience um, I just feel like people don't take women serious especially like upcoming artists like if I book a session as soon as I get there I want to get started I don't want to side talk I don't want to do any because this is my money I pay for I pay for everything everything that I do video studio time wardrobe hair I pay for it out of my pocket so time is money if I was a man and I came into a session you're not gonna have no side conversation with me you're gonna be like all right bro I got the studio ready like let, let's get it what you doing you gonna kind of be dick riding me a little bit and I feel like just as a woman like we don't get taken serious a lot and I don't know it's because the content difference or whatever but I feel like we talk about the same thing that men talk about I talk about being a boss I talk about getting money I talk about the opposite sex and how you know it's gotta pay up to be around or you gotta have something going on to be around so like what's the difference it's literally no difference and I feel like women we you know we kind of we a little bit harder like the women right now that's out right now it's over with like we coming for dude so just treat us with respect I haven't experienced anything like weird you know what I'm saying like if you catch what I'm saying like I haven't experienced anything like that I just feel like I'll book a session then I'll get sent off two hours before the session or like I and then I'll rebook and then it'll happen four times in a row and at that point it's like you don't take me serious so then when I ask you to send me my sessions or send me my music now it's like oh you want to go to somebody else absolutely because you're playing with my time so it's more of like my time being playing with than anything and my money Pop. if you listen to my music you the second song that I ever recorded was hit him up my hit him up freestyle and I just feel like I don't know like his delivery different like his attitude different like that's like Pac is just so like ain't nobody ain't nobody fucking with me and that's like that's my vibe Popeye, them sandwiches, crazy. Extra uh, yeah. sauce. And they biscuits hit way different. <sighs> little bit of jelly, they be a little dry. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go wing stop. The, like, the flavors is just a little more like, they just feel a little more like home. I wanna be invisible because I wanna be able to walk in rooms and people not know I'm there. I would rather lose my vision because I can be a blind rapper. Yeah, that's, that's different. Marvel, baby. And I would choose... Who would I choose? Everybody's so raw. I would choose uh, Black Panther. I just love him so bad. I'm gonna be in space because I love food. Like, who don't want water? That's gonna get so boring. I gotta have food. What's the difference? Cause like the forest is what like. So forest is more like like rainforest type shit. Like it's it's um, not really a lot of animals in the uh, forest. Kind of does, and a bunch of bugs that kill people, like little shit. And the jungle is like cheetahs Lions. and leopards. I'm gonna go with forest cause I feel like the forest is closer to the city, and I just need to be by buildings and stuff. Teeth, cause um if I'm looking in your mouth, yeah, teeth, you cover your toes up. <laughs> Mind because I want to know what the fuck is going on in the person head that I'm talking to. What's up, y'all? It's Taylor Rianne, rocking with G Nice TV. Make sure y'all go follow me on all platforms. Taylor Rianne, T A I L O R B R I A N N. And make sure y'all stream my new EP, Tayway. I got some new heat coming for y'all. Make sure y'all keep up with me. Shout out to my twin flame, Mona Lisa, 222. We got some new shit coming for y'all. The bitch that he really want, not you. And I can take your nigga if I need hoes. Sorry. I ain't fuck no nigga off no card. I don't want no broke bitches around me. Nigga, you was lost till you found me. Bitch, I got 50 in this new purse.